Hello, friends, and welcome to Daily Treasure, a devotional podcast by Sharon Betters, produced by Mark Inc. Ministries. This week, our guest writer is Katie Flores. Today's devotional is called Satisfying Provision. And today's treasure, the Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, you satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. Psalm 145, 14 through 17. I really rocked it today. That is the lie I often tell myself rather than believing the truth that God is the one who has upheld me and satisfied me. God's provision is what sustains his people. This world tries to tell us that it's all up to us. We are in control. And if we only do the right things, then we will masterfully navigate this life. Until we don't. We can all relate to the striving we do to keep up, keep control, and keep out of harm's way. We also know the false security that we think this gives us. The disciples must have been able to relate as they watched the crowds following Jesus as he left Galilee. Matthew 14:15 shares how the disciples asked Jesus to send them away to buy food for themselves. We can't be responsible for these people, they must have thought. But Jesus had different plans, and he used the situation as an opportunity to show his gracious provision. But Jesus said, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. You probably know the rest of the story where Jesus multiplied five loaves and two fish given by a little boy to be more than enough for the whole crowd. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up twelve baskets full of the broken pieces left over. They were satisfied. Jesus is our true source of satisfaction. The one who created us knows our needs and provides abundantly. If we think back to the verses right before this section of Psalm 145, where the psalmist speaks of God's kingdom, We connect here that, of course, the king provides for his subjects. Jesus, our king, is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. He provides, not with closed hands, sparing resources and holding tight onto them, but with open hands. It's easy to think about physical things when we thank God for his provisions, but even greater are his generous provisions for the things of the heart. 2 Peter 1.3 says, His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. God requires perfect holiness to be in a relationship with him. God has provided Jesus to be our pardon. Lord, thank you for being our ultimate source of provision and satisfaction. Just as you multiplied the loaves and fishes, multiply your grace in our lives. Amen. I've had a dollar to my name. After a 14 year struggle with addiction, Ben Fuller was set free in Jesus' name. Through his music, he passionately tells of the hope he found in Jesus. And we are so excited to bring his music to Delaware on July 28th at Middletown High School through our special event, Hope is Alive. Doors open at 5 p.m. and there will be food trucks, vendor tables, and of course, amazing music. There's limited seating, so if you're interested in coming, be sure to get your ticket today. We are pleased to announce that a portion of the proceeds from this event will be donated to Face the Facts, a local nonprofit organization whose mission it is to aid those struggling with recovery, mental health, homelessness, or simply need a hand up in life. You can get your tickets at markinc.org. 
M-A-R-K-I-N-C dot org. We hope to see you there. I got it all.